Hi, I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at remote desktop sessions within Windows Server. Now, remote desktop sessions, when you buy Windows Server, it typically comes with two admin licenses. That means you can access your server with remote desktop uh, with two different users ad as administrators. Now, you can connect more onto that, but to do that, you need to get a remote access CAL, and a remote access CAL, uh, client access license, is expensive. Here in Canada, it's over it's, uh, over $160 per cal, plus then you have to buy a uh, user access cal, which is another 50 something dollars. So well over $200. Uh, and so they're expensive. They need to be uh, used efficiently. And so as an administrator, as a user, if someone is not using their license, they've logged in and they've just left it there, we want the ability to log them out and free up that license. It's also good for backup so that if, uh, if we're backing up files, we don't want them left open. Uh, so we're going to log everyone off before we do the backup. So let's get in and have a look at this. We're going to uh, go in and uh, this is Windows Server 2008. We're going to search for group policy and there's our edit group policy. Uh, so this is our uh, group policy editor. We're going to go into, well let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it, administrative templates and then we're going to go to Windows components and then there's a remote desktop services. We'll open that up. Let's make this a little bigger again here. And then there's a uh, session host and the last one here is session time limit so these are the ones we're going to edit so the first one we're going to go in here and we're going to enable this uh, and so this is to set the time limit for disconnected sessions so if someone has logged in then the session gets disconnected well they're still logged in uh, even though they're disconnected so we're going to after two hours we're going to disconnect them and, or sorry, not disconnect, but actually log them off. Now this is a set, uh, a limit for active, but idle. So this is when someone logs in, they keep their session open on their computer, but they're not doing anything. So if there's something like that, again, we're gonna log them out after two hours. The next one here is time limit for active uh, desktop sessions. So this is when things are still happening. It might be an application in the background or whatnot. And generally, we should have a policy that everyone logs out of sessions at least once a day at the end of their shift. So I'm going to say one day, and that just keeps it uh, from uh, a session remaining open all of the time. So I'm going to go to the next one here. Terminate session when time limits are reached. Yes, so if there's a time limit and it's been reached, of course, we want to terminate that session. So next. And then uh, this is a, a useful little item. Uh, this is if you've uh, disconnected, it's not going to log you off immediately. Uh, it's going to give you a minute. So you can log off. If you do it accidentally, you can still get back onto your session and keep on going. So I'm going to leave that as one minute. And so now at the bottom of the screen is an apply button that we need to uh, choose. And so this is uh, going to uh, set these settings as a default for all uh, sessions on this particular computer. If it's a domain controller, it's very, very similar. The items are in the same place and off you go. So this is a great uh, little tool. We've been meaning to do this on uh, servers we've managed for uh, quite a while now. And uh, as we got around to it, I wanted to show you all uh, how it's done. Hi, I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and share this video if you find it useful. And uh, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Bye for now.